now for take two of the Havity Grace information about the Gra and the Havity Grace horse racetrack. Thank you, Ellie. Now I have to remember all this stuff over again. But one of our uh, big attractions back in the day was the uh, Havity Grace racetrack, and it was called the Gra. And it's located over where uh, Route 40 and Revolution, over by Stansel Baseball Fields. Some of the uh, memorabilia that I have from the Gras are some old postcards. And there's several more, but these, these two are, were the some of the biggest ones, the colorful ones. There's many black and white real photos postcards. And then we also have a uh, panoramic done from 1929 of the, the Gras. Um, back in 1918, the Gras was uh, here, started in 1912, and one of the things that we had to have in order to have the racetrack here was the hospital, so that's when the hospital also started. But these uh, pamphlets here, the, pro the programs for the, horse for the races, they started in 1918, and I have just about two, maybe a few more, for every year that the racetrack started in 1918 up to 1950. So there, there's all different kinds, all different horses that, that raced here. Some of the most famous race horses that raced here were uh, Man of War, Citation, Sea Biscuit, Coal Town, and Shaggy. Shaggy is the only horse that ever beat Citation. And one of the most famous pictures that ever came off of here was one taken by Mr. Tony Simone when they was taking Citation off the train, out of the train car. Uh, Mr. Simone was a photographer here in Havity Grace, took many, many pictures, and I've shared many, many pictures on my Facebook page that he uh, had, has taken. His son Bill allowed me to scan all his photos in and, and take them. But he, he has produced many photos all over have the grace but a couple of the most famous ones was the one of citation being led off the train car which they also did a story of him in the record newspaper in 2010 so you can find it on online his his story about tony simone and see that picture in the background on his wall also and um, you, you have that whole paper here right? i have the whole newspaper here that is going to be one of the exhibits in bahuka's history museum cool. um some of the other items that I have from the racetrack are when when a uh, jockey won or raced there, they pictures was taken and they called it in like a winner's circle or something. And they would have the riders up. They would have the information of who trained them and what racetrack they done on. These particular ones were done here at Havity Grace Racetrack. And one of the jockeys... Some of the jockeys that was here was the, from the Mergler family. Uh, I don't have, I, someplace I have pictures of the Mergler brothers uh, in a photo as, as the jockeys, but I don't have, don't have it available right now. Another story that I've heard that I, and I look for memorabilia, if anybody has any memorabilia for anything, doesn't have to be the racetrack, just anything that says have a great. But there was a gentleman that cleaned out a garage for a person and they, there was a bell in there. And apparently it came from the Havity Grace racetrack. So I'm looking for that, trying to get the, the bell to add to my museum. Harmerstown, Town, Allen Fair, they're going to put a museum in there also. And it's got, going to be more dedicated to the horse track. If you ever go down there, you can see all the murals that Ezra Berger did for the horse track also. Um, you can find all this information out on our website. Uh, visit us at bahookas.net um, you can check out our blog and you can find any other history and if you have any things that you want to know get a hold of me and we'll see what we can come up with thank you